Next example, you are being asked to factor completely 3y to the 5th minus 48y cubed. So first up again, factor out greatest common factor. So look at these two terms, determine what they might have in common. So this could be numbers and it could be letters. So 3 and 48, um, we can factor out a 3. We have y to the 5th and y cubed. So the largest y power that we have in common is y cubed. So 3y to the 5th, factor out a 3y, square, uh, 3y to the 3rd, and we have y squared left, minus 48y cubed. So we factor a 3 and a y cubed out of this, and we have 16 left. So we have two terms. So we need to look at our sheet and determine whether it's a difference of squares or a sum or difference of cubes. Since we have things raised to the second power, we're going to assume that it's a difference of cubes. So you can, I'm sorry, difference of squares. So you can do um, the x if you want to. We've done this before with a difference of squares. So you want this to equal negative 16 and 0. Um, but also looking at the square of this and the square of this. We know that it's 4s. So 4, negative 4. So bring down your 3y cubed, y, y, and this has to be negative 4 and positive 4.